Hey Clashes, Clam Week time, and I have grouped up with some friends of mine with one exact goal. We are trying to somehow make it into the top 10 global with the Clam War League rankings. It's not going to be easy, but hopefully a lot of fun. I am with two accounts in this clan, with Itsu and Itso, and well, let's see how that's going to work. We will have two trial attacks now in those Clam War League videos, and one fun attack at the end with my community clan together. But let's start things off. I think I'm attacking the number nine base first and that is uh, a really annoying looking base. The plan on this one is going to be Queen Charles Root Riders as I feel like with that strategy I'm feeling the safest with. I have pushed that with that strategy um, in my rank 1 push season so uh, that's the overall idea why I'm going to use it for now. We're going to try to charge something like this. Starting with my queen, obviously some funneling, then let her charge into the middle of the base where we use most likely the siege machine to open up the top corner compartments to really open up towards the tunnel, and then root riders from the far left side to hopefully finish off the base just like that. That's the overall plan. Let's hope for the best that we can start things off with three stars. Otherwise, that would be uh, really sad. I am in and I hope for the best. Let's get this done. Let's get this rolling. So we're starting things off with my queen on the far right side, just like that. A wizard for funneling. I think that should be already enough. One test loon. Dealers behind. And we should be able to take down the defending king without any problems because we have my queen with the frozen arrow equipment, which I'm obviously using with this queen charge. So far, so good. My wizard is actually even taking down the cannon. I appreciate that. That's amazing. I still hope the queen is going to go now the right direction. That would be otherwise not that optimal. Let's get that wall break going. Let's hope the queen is going to the top side otherwise. Ooh, go to the top. Yes, perfect. Nice. Okay, this so far looks amazing. Um, let's get things right and let's get things going. So far, we have already invested quite a bit of time. We have to be careful with this damage, which is getting here, or getting quite a bit here. Wall break. Now the siege from the top side to open up that compartment, take down the air defense and everything. And then we can use the next wall break for that inferno tower. That's a lot of damage. Let's freeze that. One wall break to get the right. Ooh, there's actually a single front tower, which I have not really seen. So I hope the queen is going to the top side, which she should, especially with the NATO trap, which is amazing for us. And then we can start already with the king. One minute and 45 seconds, which hopefully is going to be enough to take down the base. Queen is out of range of that single front tower, but we have to be careful with all of the damage. So the rage is for sure needed. Now let's start things off with the root riders get everything in there one head under for the defending royal champion things are looking not too bad not too bad queen is about to take down the tunnel which is amazing she just has to stay alive for the back end we have the skeleton spell which should do amazing job right there we have to be careful with all of the damage maybe turn that queen invisible so the damage is switching okay warren ability can be used any second now maybe one step further in front come on warden Yes, we get that queen in there as well. That's amazing for us. Oh my goodness. That's just so good. Let's use the skeleton spell. We have a backhand test up on, which is not that amazing at all. Because it will, uh, well, be quite time consuming, not gonna lie. But I think I'm pretty confident that we got this three star in the back. Let's go. Wizard here. Sneaky goblin there. Wall break. I don't even know where to put it. And that's going to be a nice start for us. I have another attack, obviously. And we would do another trial attack. But hey, we just have to get those three stars in. That's what we're here for. Getting those three stars in to have a chance somehow getting as close to the top 10 as possible. I have no clue how realistic that is. Especially with like players like, I think, Klaus, uh, Stars, and everyone is like pushing in, in different clans and stuff. It's not going to be easy. But hey, as I said, we wanted to uh, wanted to try that as a like France project with some friends together. See how far we can make it. I mean, that's overall the, the idea of this project for this month. First attack done, second attack to go. This next one is going to be versus the number 8 base. And that is one of my old bases, which I typically hate to attack because I tend to do really bad versus my own bases. But I just hope that we can break this curse today because the idea of this is pretty straightforward. Starting the queen right here, charging to the top bottom side, breaking once, twice, three times to 
reach that town hall. We're going to blimp at the same time this expo because that would be out of reach. It's going to be really annoying, especially with the defending queen. So we're trying to take that out with the Yeti blimp. I will funnel here, obviously, as well. And then as soon as the queen is somewhere close to the town hall, we will start with the root riders in from the eagle. And then hopefully they will go uh, and go around the town hall. Queen will finish off the top side. And that's then hopefully going to be another three star. That's the overall idea. Let's dive in and let's get another three star. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, we're starting with the blimp. Starting with my queen. So hopefully tank already some damage. And then all the way to the other side. This is going to be ambitious, but we will make this work somehow. Okay, well, let's start that queen. One, two. Just like that. The healers. Okay, come on. Come on, Blimp. You can make that. I would, do I have to rage things up? I don't think that I have to rage up uh, my Blimp. Which is really, really good. Yes, yes, yes. This looks good. This looks good. We got all the value without having to invest too much. That cannon right now is a little bit annoying, not gonna lie. Let's funnel here. Wall break. Okay, but I think the queen is fine for now. I think the queen is fine, guys. That should be alright. We might have to freeze once, but I think that's... Let's just freeze it. That's a lot of damage. Okay, wall break has worked. That's good. Now let's wall break another time. This time around here. Because otherwise the last wall break might target uh, like a different compartment, which we do not want to target. Two minutes left. So I think time-wise we're still looking good. The only problem right now is this thing right here, which I'm scared of. Let's raise that. Turn it invisible. King, king, king. So the eagle was tanked. Just like that. Okay, freeze, you have to be careful, another rage in just a second, okay, another headhunter, things so far we're looking fine, queen has to switch now to the monolith please, come on, take down the monolith, yes, she's slowing it down, that's great, that's great, give it up, give it up, good, 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 we have taken down the wizard tower, at this point I think it's all about time. The only thing which can be a problem to us is time. That's, in my opinion, I think the only thing which could be messed up. But so far, we have cleaned up everywhere. No, I think we have cleaned up everywhere. Which is exactly what I'm looking for. Queen, I will just use the ability. I am scared, concerned, and everything. But we still have the Royal Champ ability to make things even quicker. Uh, we have archers. Now, nah, guys, that's it. That base is smash. Let's go. We got this. We can just use the Royal Champion as soon as this cannon is gone. So she's traveling really quickly to the other side. Like a racing car. And that means it's the free stuff for us indeed. Let's just freeze things up just to be safe. And there we go. Two out of two. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I don't know. Queen Judge Root Rider might not be the most entertaining thing. But as I said, for this month, I want to try something different. I want to try something new with this overall challenge. Um, if you're wondering how our first day went... You can check out my, my German video today where I uploaded my attacks there. So far we're 3 out of 3. Not too bad, the enemies already. 5 out of 6, it's not going to be easy whatsoever. But let's jump over to my community clan to have some fun and see what we can do over there. Things in my community clan are looking quite good. We're looking really good on offense and defense. And I... Wait, I have actually defended on a 1 star with one of my rushed accounts. That is actually kind of funny. Well, we're in champion two, by the way. It's it's kind of crazy, but let's jump into some attacks. As uh, well, I want to showcase you something really fun, something which in my opinion right now is really strong if you can plan it out. Which is the invisible royal champion. I want to do a one walk for this defending king and the town hall, if possible, as well. With the rage aura, I'm pretty convinced that we get all of that out. At that same time, we're going to invest the Royal Champion to get all of this. Something like this has to go down, which is a lot of value. But I think with the new equipment, the Haste Vial and the Royal Gem, the Royal Champion has just so much DPS that I truly believe that she's going to be possible to take all of that out. The next step then is going to have my Queen with some troops diving in here in behind the Town Hall, while the King hopefully is clearing out this bottom side, which is then left over from a Royal Champion. But that's pretty much the plan. Let's dive in and let's hopefully collect a nice and fun 3-star.
As always, I love to use some rocket loons with this armor composition. I think I will go for the siege barracks for this one because I don't really see the greatest flame flinger value. We have equipment wise, classic one of the barbaric. I think this is the most used combination for me personally with, with different strategies. Um, queen, classic one, invisibility and frozen arrow. Warden, that's the important thing for this one. Rage and um, the, eternal, the eternal ability and then the royal champ as well, the new combination. Let's take a look. All five healers down. And then we can already start things off with some sneaky goblins. Let's add a royal champion. Let's make sure that first our warden is staying safe with all of the damage right here. But I think so far things are looking pretty good. We have taken down the storages and everything. So I think we can already look over here. Because I have to fully concentrate on that power as I'm then getting closer. But let's dive in. Okay. Now, royal champ. I have to count. <laughs> Three, four, just like that. Royal Chamber will turn invisible again in just a second. Now just like that. Fox is going to turn invisible now. Now this. Can use the ability. Ooh, Warden, a bit, uh, Warden, I don't want to use that ability. Looking good. Let's turn that invisible now. Things are looking still really good, guys. Actually, really, really good. Oh my goodness. Take a look at the value. I think I will turn her invisible again, right? I will turn her invisible again, yes. We take that. We lure out the clan cast. Yes, guys, this is just insane. Take a look at this. That's the Roy Champion. And people are still trying to tell me that the Hawk Puppet is stronger. Are you kidding me? This is not even close. This is not even fair. But hey, we still have to three star this base. So, let's not... Get too over eager. Let's get the root riders in. Everything just like that. Some test loons. The barbarian king is supposed to walk towards the bottom side. We can use the siege barrack in just a second from the top side to start the cleanup process. And let's start this one right here. King should go inside. Indeed. Let's wall break. There. Oh, we don't have wall breaks, but it's fine. It's fine. Let's use the siege barracks now. We have one minute left. Warn ability. That was the queen. <laughs> oh god. I'm really trying to throw this now. Oh my goodness. Let's raise that up. So we're getting through all of this. Then hopefully we can get this done with the king going around the bottom side. We can still freeze and everything. Let's just freeze now. We still have the rocket loons for the back end. But I think we don't really need that. We are looking fine. 40 seconds. And I think at this point we might even be able to swag all of those rocket loons. Let's just add a couple of them from the outside to... We really keep things going. A queen ability on the back end would be for sure quite nice. <laughs> but hey, an idiot really wasted the queen ability. So I guess we don't have that anymore. Let's just use the cleanup. Troops right here. And that should be a done deal. No corner buildings left anymore. And you can see already this royal champion dive. The invisible royal champion got baffed buffed so massively with this equipment combination. The damage is just crazy. And it's a lot of fun as well. So for me right now, as well, one of the most, most fun strategies when we're talking about Clan Wars. But for sure not an easy one whatsoever. But hey, it worked great overall for us. Things looking really solid in the in the Clan War League in my community clan. 9 attacks, 7 3 stars. The enemy are really struggling uh, with already some 1 stars. But that's pretty much it for my video. I hope you liked the video. I hope you liked and enjoyed the attacks. And I hope that you liked the overall process of having two kind of try hard attacks and then one fun attack in my community clan right here. Well, I will see you guys back tomorrow with the next one. Until then, see ya and bye bye.